so here we go this is our oneplus nord and it is indeed running on android 11 so i'll just quickly show you the android version is android 11 which is right over here there we go and uh, yeah i would like to thank the developer on xda for porting this rom onto our oneplus nord and stay tuned because at the very end i'm going to show you how to flash this on your oneplus nord it is not the regular process by which you should or you basically flash the uh, any other rom but it is a, it is quite a bit different than the other processes but it's it's pretty simple so stay tuned for that uh, so again as i said it is running on android 11 and this is nothing but a pure stock android 11 rom and again all the links for this particular rom will be in the description down below so do check it out if you want and uh, yeah so i just booted this and this is also my first time trying this out uh, so we'll just try out or we'll just basically see few things that this rom provides and then later we might basically uh, you know compare this with our pixel to see how good it is so if you go into the home screen settings first uh, you will see a couple of options and the one thing that i like is the app suggestions so we now have the suggested apps at the bottom so if i just swipe this out real quick we'll get another app suggestion and if i just swipe this again will get another app suggestion so one thing is that the g apps are included in this particular rom so when you flash the rom the g apps are included so you don't have to flash g apps from outside all the g apps are included uh, so again so basically with this rom on the left we have the google now screen uh, we have the widget we have the wallpaper so if you go into the wallpapers real quick we'll, we'll see what all wallpapers do we get okay so app isn't installed so i think we'll have to install the wallpapers app and then we'll basically get the uh, access to wallpapers so for that you will need to just go into the play store and download the google wallpapers app if you want i'll give a link in the description down below for that as well uh, so we'll just check out what all we have in the settings so in the apps and notifications uh, one thing uh, that android 11 brought with it was conversation there you go we have it right over here and if i swipe down again we have the notifications oh and okay so we also have the blur that the stock android doesn't have so if you see the background is blurred and okay so google's google's promise that they'll bring this particular feature with uh, in the future updates but good to see that developers have already started implementing this on the rom itself so that's a good thing then going on to the notifications real quick we also now will have the notification bubbles so yeah there we go we have the bubbles as well so if you are if you're talking with someone or if you're chatting with someone you can basically just hit on the bubble and you'll get it right on your phone itself so good to see that as well then going back so in the battery we have the battery percentage uh it for me it is actually on the very edge of the screen uh, but again it, it don't matter so for just fyi this is the second build uh, the first build was a bit buggy and it did not have google apps pre-installed so now we have google apps pre-installed and you don't need to flash separate g apps uh, so this is actually a pretty stable i mean as far as i'm using this uh, it feels stable but we'll just take a look at how stable it is in the full review of this rom itself uh, so in the display if we go I'll, i just want to see if we have the uh, 90 hertz option here or not so let's see display cutout we have tap to wake we have lock screen okay so screen refresh rate we have it set to automatic if we set it to 90 hertz okay so the oh my god okay all right do you see the difference uh, i'll just switch i'll just switch it to 60 hertz again and just see if you or, or basically automatic again and do, do you see do you see there's a the difference between 60 and 90 it feels oh my god 90 hertz feels really really good so 90 again and the display lags lag basically goes away so in automatic you had this display lag but in sorry in 60 you had the display lag or while in automatic but in 90 oh my god it feels really smooth i might use this as my daily uh so yeah then again we have our uh colors so we have natural okay so okay so there's just one color <laughs> then we have uh, the dark theme as well 
so there we go dark theme and light theme we, you can also schedule it if you want uh, so for this video i'm going to keep it to light then we have the body text or the font basically then we have the icon shape we have the icon pack as well uh, so again i think if you go into the settings here okay we don't have the settings to change the icons right over there but we have it in the display itself so accent color as well so you can change it if you want to uh, let's say black and everything now has changed to black but for this i'll be again keeping it to the display or the default that we get uh, then going back we have sounds and i don't think there's nothing new in sounds we had we had the live captions in the previous update itself so it says update the software so i have not logged into my google account in this rom uh, but if i do i'll basically get the live caption as well then we have storage security uh, we'll just quickly add our fingerprint and we'll see if it works or not let's do the simple one there we go done next okay so you get the uh, nexus imprint if i'm not wrong i saw the nexus right over there uh, okay so it is actually setting up and okay so our finger is set up if i just hit on done and okay was that a bug i think so so if i just turn off the screen and if i double tap there we go fingerprint works just fine so wow i mean that's really good so if i again if i just turn off the screen and then if i double tap and if i just put my finger in there we go the device just unlocks right away so that's a good thing so fingerprint works and i think we also will have face unlock in smart lock so okay got it okay so we don't have face unlock here but i mean fingerprint works just fine so there's no issue in that then we have one plus settings so this, this is new uh, we have anti flicker uh, so which helps reducing the eye strain in low light conduct conditions by using dc dimming okay so this is nothing but dc dimming uh, so the so even even while recording the screen you get the black bars while recording a phone so you won't be getting that or you won't be getting the black bars while recording and it also says that it is easy to easy to our eyes so that's a good thing then we have the alert slider as well so that seems to be working fine as well so that's a good thing then again going down we have system uh we have gestures so we have camera we have the navigation so two button and we also have three button navigation there we go we also have settings for the gesture navigation so that's a good thing there we go and yeah by default uh it was on gesture navigation and not on the two button or three button and uh, then we also have power menu so that's also a good thing so if i just pop there we go and on my pixel i have uh, the home home control setups as well, set, set up as well so i'll just quickly show that in the later part of the video uh, then going back we let's see we have about phone and as i said we have the uh, android 11 easter egg we also have the bill number which is aosp and uh, yeah that is pretty much it uh, let's quickly check the app and we have the old old google app or old google camera so again you can easily put the google camera mod if you want in the phone itself so uh, links for that also will be in the description box below and these are all the default apps that you will get or you will basically see after installing the rom i have not installed any other app uh, then again we have the uh, quick toggle menu here as well so another thing i noticed while uh, you know toggling the wi-fi on is if, if i just tap here you get the wi-fi options right at the bottom which is not the case with the pixels so in pixel you basically get into the settings of the wi-fi but it's a good thing to see uh, i think it will also work for bluetooth okay no bluetooth opens in the settings so that's a good thing uh, so if i go into any app let's say oh i'll open just two, two to three apps real quick and in the recents as you can see we have the screenshot option we have the select option as well so to select any text from the recents menu there we go so this is also another thing that was introduced with pixels uh, so if i just quickly go into uh, let's say and uh, play a video real quick so let's say i'm playing one of my videos and let's say if i just close it uh, so you don't get anything over here which is the media controls 
uh, I think I'll just have to quickly enable developer options I'll just quickly do that and let's see if we get it in developer options so in system we have de developer options then uh, if go by going down okay so we do have an option to basically hide the player but uh, I don't know why it is not recognizing the media and showing it in the uh, quick toggle menu so yeah I, I think that's that's a bug and again that will be fixed in the future updates uh, but for now it's not working and uh, oh my god I really love the blur that it provides so there we go if you see the, the blur is really really good and yeah I, I love it so we also have nearby share here again which is basically a default feature now for all the phones and clear all button as well but yeah I mean that is it for now uh, there's nothing more in this particular ROM it's just a pure stock Android and now I'll just basically show you guys how different it is from the pixel so here we go on the right is my pixel running Android 11 and on the left it's the OnePlus so in settings basically we have everything uh, same we if you go into system and if you see the uh, about phone we'll have everything same uh, so the thing I was I was going to show you guys was the media feature and let's say if I quickly go into my channel and if I play a video real quick uh, I'll basically if I just pause it I'll basically get a setting on my quick toggle menu which is right over here and which will basically give me controls to the uh, media itself so I don't know why it isn't showing in the oneplus phone uh, but I mean it's not a big deal again it's, it is, it's just a second build and it will be fixed in the future updates as well so I'll just quickly try it once more and I'll just see if it works or not there you go, if I just okay okay so if I pause it real quick and if I go into the settings nope nothing here uh, so I think it's it's a, it's a bug and it will basically be fixed in the future update so the blur I was talking about is as you can see if I just swipe down I get the blur here but in pixels you don't get the blur as you can see so you don't have the blur uh, but in Android 11 you'll basically get the conversations which is right over here which will be on the top uh, the notifications will be split into different conversations in notification and then in the silent notifications so you will have that uh, so yeah I mean that is pretty much it this was the ROM itself and again it's pretty close to stock Android and you don't have all the customizability that you get with the oneplus devices but it is just pure stock android so now i'm going to tell you how to flash this rom so it's pretty simple uh, the links will be in the description as well also the steps will be in the description uh, the steps are also given on the xda page itself so first things first is you're going to do is you have to boot into twrp so make sure you have the latest version of the twrp and also make sure that you're on the latest version of oxygen os which is 10.5.7 uh, so boot into twrp and also make sure that you already have the rom uh, in your phone in your storage so boot into twrp flash the rom do not hit reboot go into the home page hit on the reboot button reboot to recovery once you're in the recovery wipe or format the data from the stock recovery itself not the twrp recovery just listen carefully do not wipe data from twrp so just flash in twrp hit on the reboot button go into the stock recovery because because you just booted the twrp so it won't be permanently flashed just boot the twrp reboot into recovery which will be the stock recovery uh, scroll down with the volume buttons hit on the wipe or format the data or format the system just hit on the yes button and once your phone is formatted you will be booted into this particular rom it's that easy it's not like any other rom where you have to just flash the uh, rom and then reboot from the recovery or wipe the data from the recovery but in this particular rom you have to reboot into the stock recovery first wipe the data and then reboot so that is pretty much it that is the rom itself and yeah that is pretty much it if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one